filter bank multi-carrier modulation. Multi-carrier modulation is a method of transmitting data by splitting it into several components and sending each of these components over separate carrier signals. During data transmission, frequency selective fading will cause distortion of the signal. To prevent this, we can use multi-carrier modulation. MCM was first used in analog military communications in the 1950s. Recently, MCM has attracted attention as a means of enhancing the bandwidth of digital communications over media with physical limitations. The scheme is used in audio broadcast services in ADSL systems and WLANs. Originally, MCM required the use of several channels separated by steep sided filters to prevent interference. But MCM became widely used with the onset of OFDM which used orthogonality of carriers to ensure no interference is present. Cyclic prefix usage reduces the overall data rate and causes loss in spectral efficiency. Further disadvantage of OFDM is spectral localization of the subcarriers is weak, and this results in spectral leakage and interference issues with unsynchronized signals. Filter bank multi-carrier modulation is considered an evolved OFDM. Instead of filtering the whole band, as in the case of OFDM, FBMC filters each subcarrier individually. Here we see the difference between FBMC and OFDM. When the carriers are modulated in an OFDM system, side lobes spread out either side. With the filter band system, the filters are used to remove these and therefore a much cleaner carrier results. Also, FBMC has a much better usage of the available capacity and it's able to offer higher data rates within a given radio spectrum bandwidth. Cyclic prefix is also not required in FBMC. There are different types of FBMC. First, the technique FBMC, the idea came from Chan, who presented the conditions required to signal a parallel set of pulse amplitude modulated signal sequences. To maximize bandwidth efficiency of the system, VSB modulation was applied to each subcarrier signal. Salzburg extended the idea and showed how the chant method could be modified for transmission of QAM sim symbols. Cosine modulated filter is a type of FBMC. Here, a low pass pair prototype is translated to the required center frequencies by modulating with the cosine function. Filter design has two stages. First, the design of the low pass prototype. At PMC systems, FAR filter is preferred over IIR for a few reasons. FAR filter has a linear phase where IIR does not. Moreover, IIR filter may cause a synchronization problem later or even though they are of a lower order. The prototype filter is generally restricted to the order 2KN-1. K is an integer called the overlapping factor and N is the number of channels. Suppose the bandwidth is pi by n, then the center frequencies are usually odd multiples of pi by 2n. Filter band systems use center frequencies which are repeated. Here we see the different possibilities of center frequencies. There can be multiples of pi by 2n, multiples of 2 pi by n, multiples of pi by n, and so on. Next, we choose the modulation scheme. It can either be cosine modulation or exponential modulation. Binary input is diverted into n branches using a demultiplexer. The number of bits n allocated to each branch depends on the type of modulation being used. Here, we see a modulation scheme where m cam modulation is being used, m equal to 2n. The number of branches n equal to the upsampling l. The filtered data is then added by an adder and this, is a, this gives us the signal which will be transmitted. SMT and CMT are two FBMC types. Here we see that CMT occupies half the bandwidth and hence provides only half the data rate. However, FMT, filtered multitone modulation, a different scheme, introduces guard bands between adjacent subcarriers and it is more complex than FBMC. SMT requires more bandwidth compared with SMT and CMT. Now we'll consider the applications of FBMC. 
Cognitive radio, it's a wireless communication in which a transceiver can intelligently detect which communication channels are in use and which are not and instantly move into vacant channels while avoiding the occupied ones. Uh, cognitive radio include the ability of the transceiver to determine its geographical location identity and authorize its user encrypt or decrypt signals, uh, adjust its output power and modulation characteristics. Basically, we use OFDM modulation in CR. Here we consider FBMC as an alternative scheme. OFDM is able to avoid both ISI and ICI making use of suitable cyclic prefix. OFDM has been suggested as a candidate for CR systems. In spite of these advantages, it is very sensitive to fast time variations of the radio channel and to timing offset due to imperfect synchronization. In addition, it sacrifices data transmission rate because of insertion of CP. FBMC modulation doesn't require CP extension and it's highly robust to the residual frequency offsets than OFDM by taking advantages of the spectral containment of its modulation prototype filters. Hence, FBMC is a better alternative scheme. Consider a typical cognitive radio system. Here we have one uh, one primary base station and one secondary base station. Primary system and secondary cell apply the same multi-carrier modulation scheme. Secondary users in secondary cell are synchronized and secondary base station can perfectly sense free bands of the license system. Primary and secondary cells are assumed to be unsynchronized. Hence, ICO exists between primary and secondary users. Primary and secondary users share adjacent frequency bands and one spectrum hole might have one or multiple clusters. That is, one secondary user is permitted to copy at least L subcarriers. As seen from the graph, primary in case of primary user, eight subcarriers in case of OFDM or one subcarrier in case of FPMC adjacent to secondary users suffer from intercell interference. The same situation exists for secondary user also. Compared to OFDM-based CR network, FBMC-based CR network can offer high channel capacity as seen from the graph. It also, FBMC offers better performance gain if we know the estimated channel information previous, previously. In MIMO systems, MIMO is an antenna technology for wireless communication in which multiple antennas are used both at the source and the destination. Uh, okay, Multi-path uh, Propagation in case of digital communication system cause reduction in data speed and increase in number of errors. Use of two or more antennas along with transmission of multiple signals at the source and the destination eliminates the trouble caused by multipath propagation. OFDM relies on cyclic prefix samples to avoid intersymbol interference and convert the channel to a set of subcarriers with flat gains. FBMC without using CP adopts a large number of subcarriers relying on the fact that when each subcarrier band is narrow, it is characterized by an approximately flat gain, hence suffer from a negligible level of ISI. And in case of massive MIMO system, linear combination of signal components from different channels smooths channel distortion. Hence, one may relax on the requirement of having approximately flat gain for the subcarriers. This positions FBMC as a strong candidate in the application of massive MIMO. In 5G networks, uh, the potential applications for 5G includes high-speed video downloads, gaming, car-to-car -car communication, general cellular communications, etc. Some of the key requirements that need to be supported by the modulation scheme include capability of handling high data rate, wide bandwidth signal, ability to provide low latency transmissions for long and short, short data bursts, these very short transmission time intervals, etc. Capability of fast switching between uplink and downlink for TDD systems. We normally use uh, orthogonal frequency division multiplex in, in case of 4G. It provides excellent spectrum efficiency, can be processed and handled with processing levels achievable in current mobile handsets and operates well with high data rate stream occupying wide bandwidth, operate well in situation where there is selective fading. Instead of filter, filtering the whole band as in case of OFDM, FBMC filters each subcarrier individually and it doesn't have a cyclic prefix and as a result it is able to provide a very high level of spectral efficiency. And in order to reduce constant exchange of control signaling, relaxed synchronization is considered to be 
important for the fifth generation of wireless cellular networks. Frequency division multiple access for FBMC modulation has emerged as a serious contender for these asynchronized fragmented spectrum access scenarios.